What's up everybody? This is the Act Man here, and today we're going through my favorite mission on Legendary Without Dying Once. Now, it starts off with a cutscene, but Look but out. no it doesn't. It starts with sentinels. Alright. Thankfully they give you a plasma pistol at this part, right? So it's pretty easy to mop these guys up. Um you can save your charge, or yeah, you can save your ammo if you just fire like I am. Um, but it takes longer, so you could have more plasma pistol ammo for this part if you wanted. But anyways, because this is such a long mission, I might be um, fast forwarding at certain parts, you know, to, to shorten the length a bit. Because damn, it took me an hour and ten minutes to get through two betrayals, legendary without dying. And even now I'm surprised I did, because this is without a doubt the hardest mission um, to do that challenge on. I'd honestly say this is the hardest mission in the Combat Evolves campaign overall, right? But what makes it so good and so cool, awesome, and just fun to play over and over, because I used to play this mission way more. Like, me and my brother used to play this mission more than any other when we were younger, and we just, and, you know, before Halo 2 was out. And part of that was because it was just so fun to see the enemies fight each other and to just kind of watch them duke it out, see their AI, you know, fighting one another was always really interesting um yeah i'm getting getting into a bit of trouble here god damn god damn oh three health oh two health man that's no good all right yeah we're in a we're in a bad spot here as far as health right we just lost a bunch in that beginning area and we didn't really need to but there's health packs coming up and a bunch of good goodies all right, and then, yeah, I got four grenades. Now, there's a trick that I always do at this part is you open the door, stand behind the shield, because for some reason the Covenant can't see behind those shields. You throw a nade over that ridge. I think there's two elites. And you should be able to get them. Let's see. Yep, two elites. Got them. We're going loud with the badass awesome music. Now, because I got two health, I'm just going to back up, right? Don't need to be super aggressive. Yeah, even from that range, they're they're getting me pretty low on my shields there. You can see it's a it's a beautiful, delicate dance in Combat Evolved. Dancing between shots and then shooting when you can. All right, I'm gonna fast forward this part. Yeah, so what I do is I use the sniper rifle, I bring it down, I take out as many guys as I can with it, then I swap to the pistol, because the sniper here really doesn't have all that much ammo. So, you know, might as well just use it to take out these guys easy. And then, yeah. Yeah, we'll just get the pistol now. So we'll be moving up. An elite looks like, if I'm really good, I could stick him. Oh, oh, maybe. I still got him. <laughs> Not a bad nade. Um, yeah, throwing nades is always satisfying and fun, and it's pretty pretty easy to get the hang of their trajectory and how they move once you've played the game enough. All right, got a couple more elites over here. Now, I could do this the way where you just, like, sprint down there and sprint to the Banshee, but on a legendary no-death run, that's, that's pretty risky, so... But I can at least take out those guys down there and make it easy on me when I go down. I might even try to jump down on the left here. I, I Yeah, I think I do. It's like... Wait, what if I go this way? Or I think I'm going to try and get those elites down there. Tricky bastards. I don't normally play this way, like on this level. I normally just kind of go through normally at this part. Come on. Come on, Act Man. You can do it. Those elites aren't too scary. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, this this whole area just has a bunch of ramps and stuff that you can run down and, you know, different ways to traverse. You don't have to go down the path you can, but I chose to go this way for some reason. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Oh, that was pretty good. Pretty good nade. Yeah, it's surprising how strong plasmas are against all enemies in the game. They're probably better than frag grenades in that respect because they just... They can take out elites from from 100 to 0. 
uh, just like that on legendary. So that's always good. Yeah, that that wraith is he's waking up, and now I'm gonna have to deal with all these forces. And there's a fuck ton of guys. Yeah, so it's it's pretty risky to make a run to the the banshees there. I've done it before, but I pr I prefer this way. Yeah. With the badass music, get the rocket launcher. Thank God they put this here because they also put 12 elites here. And if I'm not mistaken, some of those elites can take a direct rocket shot. Eat rockets, you bastards! Eat nades, you bastards! This part's pretty difficult. But if you just keep kind of spamming at the right times, you'll you'll get these guys down. Oh, I thought that gold elite was weak. All right, got these guys. Also, gotta watch for those mortars, man. I think it's rare that they'll hit you, but still, on a legendary no deaths run, you you don't take chances. Boom. Ah, wasn't wasn't quite the boom I was looking for. Boom. There we go. Ah, didn't quite get him with that. Hopefully I could get a chain explosion with one of these. I'll pick up the rest of these rockets. I'll watch the health pack, because if I lose any more health, I want to get it after that. Damn, see, even, even that rocket didn't even take that guy's shields down. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Chain reaction. Still dead? I think he's still alive. Oh, that guy's dead now. That gold elite. Man, he got his shields back up and everything. Oh, that was nice. Headshot him through his shield. All right, now we got to take care of this wraith. Couple well-placed rockets and we'll be on our way. It looks a lot different on uh, anniversary graphics, doesn't it? It's like it's it's more bright. That's that's kind of why I don't like playing on anniversary graphics. There's another reason because sometimes it just misses the mark on the feel of the missions and how they're supposed to look and feel. All right. So the objective of this mission is to walk into three pillars of light. Once you do that, you're all good. Sounds easy. Well, it's not because there's enemy forces all over the place. All right, now, as with any mission with vehicles, you got to make sure you don't actually splatter yourself because it can happen way easier than you think. All right, now, I don't think there's any enemies in here when you first walk in because uh, Cortana gives you some dialogue about what you're doing, why you're doing it, blah, 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 blah. That did it. All right, and then sentinels are going to come in, so you jump up here. Go under them, and by the time my shields came back, just a little bit is enough, so I didn't lose any health. So that's beautiful. All right, now we're gonna head down to the bridge, grab a fresh banshee, breaking stuff to look tough. Great name. And then this is actually the first part where we encounter fuel rod grunts for the first time. And after that, I think the only other time we see them is Keys and the Maw. But I, but I don't think we see them for the rest of Two Betrayals after this bridge part. I could be wrong, but yeah. So there's no real reason to go to the other side of the bridge because we're going through this door, through right? Door. No real reason to take out the guys that we don't really need to. Unless we wanted to be thorough. Alright, but going through. Alright, we're going to have some grunts. Another Covenant encounter here. Let's see if I can smack him. There we go. Maintain the stealth. Oh, 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 went through his legs. God damn it. All right, now we're going loud. Bunch of enemies in here. Yeah, I mean, even though it is kind of, well, it basically is the same level as Assault in the Control Room. There are some minor differences, right, as far as, you know, Having banshees in certain areas, or new vehicles, new enemies, uh, different encounters. So it is a lot different. Um, but at the same time, it is the same layout and setting that you're going through. You know, I, t I talked about a lot of this stuff in my uh, Halo CE video. If you guys didn't watch that, 
Go watch it. It's one of my best. Oh, right in the face. I'll get up close and personal. All right, a few more elites. Looks like another jackal. This guy, let's see if I can stick him. Whoop. <laughs> as soon as he dies, all the grunts are like, Oh, we gotta get the fuck out of here. And when I stuck that elite, he was like, Aye! I love those, I love those death sound effects. Take out these jackals. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm rocking the pistol shotgun at this point. I feel like it's a pretty balanced combo for most, if not all, of the level. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this part... No, this isn't the part with the rocket launcher flood. Oh, baby! Oh, what a stick! What a nade! And we'll just clean up these guys. Wow, that was beautiful. That was perfect. Then we'll stock up on nades here, and then we got... We got a great part coming up with some badass music. And then this is when you really start to see the Flood and the Covenant going at it. I like to just hang back and kind of watch them do their thing. And time to move it. Let's see if I can... I usually try to even the odds. For whichever side's losing, I try to fight the other side. Uh, looks like the Flood lost pretty, pretty badly there. Luckily, I got nades in the shotgun. Oh, come on. All those bad nades. Garbage. And there's going to be a gold leak coming up soon, I think. As soon as you kill a certain number of these guys, gold elite will show up. And he'll charge in. I got no nades, so it'll be difficult to take him out. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. And there's also going to be a butt ton of jackals. All right, I do got I do got one nade. Nice, so I stuck him with it. Wow, that was a perfect nade. But damn, freaking six jackals up in here. Uh, grab the health pack. Kind of a bad move. Didn't really need to, as I'm losing health now. <laughs> Not the best move, act man. But hey, we'll get through. We'll get through, as we always do. Yeah. I could have swapped out my pistol for like a plasma rifle, which probably would have been a good move. Uh, let's see if that nade does anything. Don't think it did. Maybe killed one of them. Yeah, you, uh, that's why you stock up on nades. I know it seems like a pretty self-explanatory thing, but in situations like these, you know, if you don't have the the right weapons to deal with jackals, like shotgun and pistol with not a whole lot of ammo, you know, if I run out of nades and stuff. Only option is to either find a weapon or just charge in there. And holy shit, I almost just died right there. See, if I had a plasma pistol, I would have been better off. But luckily, there's a health pack. Ooh wee. Let's shoot these guys through the wall. The conveniently placed holes in the wall. We'll see if we can trigger the flood to come in. As uh, they they come in, I think either once you get close to the door or once you kill enough of the enemies in the room. They're just kind of lining up for me, though. That's, that's very nice of them. Alright. I'm gonna check for nades. I'll get an assault rifle. Though, probably a plasma pistol would be better. Yeah, because I already have a shotgun, you know, so that's my close range, uh... My close range buddy right there. Alright, now we're coming up. Trying to trigger the flood so that they fight whatever remnants are left. Come on, flood buddies. Come on, flood buddies. I think after I kill this elite. Oh, there's two of them. After I kill one of them, should be good. Alright. Yeah, see, I probably should have gotten for a plasma pistol. But hey. Oh, here they come. Now they'll, they'll mop up for me. I can just kind of hang back. But see, stuff like this, you know, where it's you're in a room and you're fighting Covenant, but then to throw you off, they have Flood come through at a certain point, you know? So this mission always keeps you on edge, as do uh, most missions with the Flood, because of their unique way of spawning into the game and into the area you're in. All right, I think... I think I'll grab this pistol. Oh, more pistol ammo. Perfect. 
All that different colored blood, bullet holes all over. Looks like a real battle. All right, now what's in this next room? Oh, it's the bridge. This part's fun as well. Got banshees up above, if I'm not mistaken. Battles raging across both sides of the bridge. It's pretty hectic, pretty intense. I don't think I could find the banshees. I, I feel like they're out there though. Is it just me? Maybe they're on the next bridge. But look at what they're throwing at you. They're throwing Flood and Covenant on the same bridge. They put Flood on the other bridge, and then, you know, you got this battle raging across the whole landscape, the whole level. You know, that's it's one huge battle between all these different factions, and that's what's so awesome about Two Betrayals. They even jump over the bridge. Like, how fucking awesome is that? Of course, use this time to throw some well-placed nades, and watch out for this guy. Die, little bitch. Would have been interesting if they had the uh, gold elites throw grenades as well. That would have been pretty interesting. Uh, the flood should be trying to jump over once you get past certain thresholds. Yep, just like that. Also, I, I don't know if anyone else noticed, but some of the flood on these bridges, they're like browner than some of the other flood. Like, they look older. I don't know if I was the only one that noticed that, but... Um, could be the lighting of the area, it could just be, I don't know, maybe they're a different model or a different color to indicate that they're like older Flood, kind of like the Jenkins thing. Alright, then I think this part we got a room full of Flood, big old room full of Flood, and if I'm not mistaken, one of those guys has a rocket launcher. This mission... This fucking mission has so many rocket launcher flood, it will make your head spin. Now, I'm about to throw a grenade, but you know why I didn't? Because I don't want to stick a... I don't want to stick an infection for him and then have that guy come up in my face, man. Alright. There's a lot of flood at this part. They're all carrying plasma weapons. How about that? That's funny. Interesting, actually. Also, I... Probably talked about this in the library video, but shotgun flood can either be surprisingly non-harmful or surprisingly harmful, right? Because it's they're pretty unpredictable when they fire it, but you know, I I never really had much problem with them in any of my walkthroughs or any of my videos. Oh yeah, teabagging because you get the sweet that sweet animation, one of the best things in this game. All right, moving through. Oh. Wait for it. Wait for it. There's gonna be a big explosion. Wait for it. There it is. Because <laughs> there's rocket launcher flood. Let's see. Is he still around the corner? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Killed his ass. Because if he shoots down that, co that corridor and it hits the wall, I mean, you're done. You're done for, it, kid. Yeah, all it takes is one rocket launcher flood. And I'm not picking it up because, you know, it's kind of a situational item. And what's also interesting is there's really not a whole lot of stealth tactics you can use against the flood. Right? If I were to sneak up on those guys and whack them in the back, it wouldn't have, wouldn't have done anything. But that's interesting. You can't really use stealth to your advantage against them. But sometimes you can. All right, moving through another corridor room, circular. I think there's more flood. Maybe they'll spawn in. Yeah, despite how many times I've played this, you kind of forget what's in the rooms because there's so many of them. <laughs> All right. Now, I think I'm being careful because I don't want to risk rocket launcher flood. Because I feel because man, they put so many of those guys in this level. It's unreal. They put them in these closed corridor circle rooms. The bastards. I guess it's mostly infection forms. Alright, we'll just whack these guys. And be on our way. Conveniently placed health pack, but... Let's see, do I get it? Yes, I do. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna run past all this stuff. Kinda thin them out as we go. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Ah, uh, this is the part with the banshees. Now we're on the flood side. So no matter what, we gotta take those those banshees out because they're gonna they're gonna target us. They kind they kind of mess with the flood, but for the most part, they want our blood. All right, lost a little bit of health. No biggie. That's why we got that buffer though. It's a nice buffer. Wanted to make sure all my shields were recharged. Yeah. Next thing is to take out the flood. Or, the banshees. There. All right. Yeah, you can see they're firing on the flood, so they're helping out a little bit, which is nice. But we don't we don't need that help, Banshee Bros. We're gonna we're gonna take you down. Another unique encounter that I think is really awesome, as we'll see in the future. Oh yeah, I heard the flood guy coming. That's why it was like, whoa. That's why I backed up. Uh, it kind of makes you think, like if humans and Covenant got all these air vehicles, you know, at least from what we see in Combat Evolved, the Flood don't really have space craft capabilities or piloting capabilities, at least from what we see. But you know, I imagine there's some side stories uh, that kind of expand on the Flood infestation that took place here. Also, yeah, this part. Bet your ass there's gonna be rocket launcher flood down there. That's why you get the pistol. It's it's kind of essential to have it because you gotta take those guys out from a distance, but you also gotta have something for when the flood swarm you up close. Um, so yeah, you can see I'm taking them out from a distance. See like that flood that's on the little glass part right there. He looks kind of brown, doesn't he? Could be one of those flood, old floods I was talking about. I'll get that nade. Stay stocked up. Oh, yeah, making sure I kill them. Don't give them a chance to fire. That guy's done. That guy had no weapon. Oh, this guy's back up. Oh, you can see I'm running out of pistol ammo. I'm gonna look around. Oh, there we go. I did find some. All right, now let's see how many rocket launchers there are. Maybe some of them got blasted. My God, are you kidding me? Oh, I thought there was three, but there's two. That's that's still a lot. Got all these infection forms. What are you trying to trick me, Bungie? What do you think I'll fall for that? I eh, just run past them. And we're gonna come up to another flood part. And this time, it's interesting because these are the only flood infection forms that don't just like attack you on sight. They're, they're sleeping or something. Always thought that was interesting too. Might as well whack them, because why not? I think if you fire your weapon though, they, they wake up and attack you immediately. Alright, another corridor part here. Pretty funny how they put a bunch of flood infection forms at the top of the elevator. All right. Now I talked about this in my CE video as well, but all these human flood here, apparently they're supposed to be the remnants of Fire Team Zulu, and I always thought that was interesting because it's weird to see like a bunch of human flood with no weapons in in this one area. Like it, it, it always stood out to me as something weird. I, I used to always like shoot off their their whip arm and make friends out of them just have like eight of these guys following you that was always funny yeah pretty easy part though oh this guy's trying to hide up here <laughs> what was he doing up there all right now we're gonna be on the ground floor whoa what happened there take out this guy now this this part's fucking hard too because once again we got ghosts a banshee or a ghost a banshee and a wraith and some turrets and infantry over there so there's a lot of shit we gotta deal with right now i'm gonna try and take out this banshee before i head out there to get the ghost to take out the ghost All right, took out that banshee. Now it's time to take out this ghost bastard over here. 
then once we do that, the rest of it should be relatively easy pickings. Yeah, man. I'm better than you. Boom! There's also uh, ammo and stuff to stock up on over here. That's always helpful. And if I do remember correctly, you can glitch through one of these walls uh, using that that ghost glitch where you can bypass walls. I think you can do that here. Alright, we'll get that health pack. And then this part over here, I think I'm going to grab a rocket launcher. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely want to get that for the wraith. And then, yeah, this part's kind of a, a grind a little bit because you kind of have to thin out their forces. But you can also just try to run it. And I think that's entirely possible too. But again, want to stay away from the risky stuff. You can also battle this guy like attrition. Just keep firing from range, dodging his shots. You should be fine. There's a lot of guys at this part. Certainly one of the harder parts. All right, we took out that guy. And for the sake of time, I fast forwarded because <laughs> I just kept shooting him <laughs> for like a minute and a half. <laughs> All right, we'll take out these guys. My ghost is pretty weak, so I'm gonna ditch that. Right, because if it blows up, you blow up and you die. This part's also funny. You kind of wonder what, what it would be like if you had Marines on some of these later levels. How it would be different, how they would react to the flood. That would always be an interesting thing to see. Also, the grunts fall off at this part. <laughs> and that's funny as fuck. Alright. Now we're gonna grab this Warthog and be careful because they will throw nades down at you. And I think they might just do that. And they bounce on the ice too. Alright, we'll get that. Oh, yeah, I heard heads up. Ooh! Well, it was a good thing I stayed away. Also, grenades. You see there's grenades that were placed there? Grenades placed by the devs, as far as I know, uh, don't, don't explode in a chain reaction, right? Those grenades didn't move, didn't react, didn't do nothing. And that's, that's another interesting thing. Alright. Let's slowly move on out of here. There we go. Of course, this part is infinitely easier with a second person to man the turret, right? Because you get—you basically got to get out. You know, you don't want to risk getting stuck. You know, can't really switch to the turret because if you do, you're a sitting duck. And then there's banshees, hunters. Uh, maybe ghosts. This, man, there's a lot of difficult parts in this, but I just love how big and how grand it feels. You know, it's so open, so big, massive, and yet at the same time, it's just a single part of the ring that you're on. And it's just a very small part in comparison, so... You know, exploring the rings, I, I really think in future Halo games they should do more of that, because there's so much to learn, so much to show from the rings and this kind of stuff always made me really interested in seeing more of the game and more of the rings and understanding everything better all right so we're just gonna take these guys out come on now let's see if I can hit that boom oh let's see if I can hit that boom good thing I grabbed the rocket launcher Oh, yeah, and then we got that wraith down there. And then a couple hunters. So we'll take these guys out and then move on to the banshees over there. Boom. Hey, oh, come on, come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. I won't hesitate to kill you. Just like that. Yeah, so you kind of, you gotta break the the elite lines here. You gotta kill them before you run to the Banshees, because otherwise you're gonna get in a Banshee and it's gonna have, like, no health, and then you have to fight other Banshees in the air. So, then you got that turret and that Wraith firing at you, so... The order of eliminations is, you know, those Hunters. I mean, you don't really need to take out the Hunters, but if you do what I do, you kind of have to. 
First you take out the Banshees that are already there. Then you take out the Hunters, then the Elites, then the guy in the turret. Then you take out the new Banshees. If you can take out that Wraith from a distance, that works too. And I'm just gonna shoot a rocket to knock it over and stop dealing with that shit. Uh, let's see if I can get this guy. Oh, come on. Because if I can kill him here, then I don't have to try killing him with a with a banshee. Uh, one more rocket. Oh man, there's another elite. Where did he come from? Where did you come from? Nah, I didn't get the didn't get the wraith. So now I only got two shots left. Luckily, he's just a he's just a blue elite. Also, you always got to be careful about using the rockets because if you shoot, <laughs> if you shoot a wall on accident, you're done for. You know, and I've had that happen to me, and just ugh, <laughs> it's so frustrating. There we go. All right, now we're gonna hijack one of these banshees. If I can get the shot off, I only got two, so might as well try to take him out. What? I thought I hit him with three rockets. I thought that was the third. Come on. There we go. Got it. Perfect. Last shot. Alright. Now the real battle begins. Now, I'm just gonna fly out over here, just so I can try and see the banshees that are about to come and kick my ass. So I can try and find them. I'm looking up, looking down, waiting on those guys. Oh, there they are. There's one of them. Come on, boom! Taking you down. Oh yeah, there are more fuel rod grunts, but they're pretty much in the sections where you have uh, a banshee, so they're basically in a hazard for you in the air because again if one of those things hits you I think it takes out all but two of your life bars on the Banshee so just bomb them man there's they're fucking buck wild down there they're trigger happy take them out from a distance just just don't want to risk getting hit by one of those and there is a gold lead over here but for now I think we're just gonna we're just gonna take out the the grunts so that we can land safely. It also makes you wonder, so you go over to that platform, but what's on the other platform, you know? What's in there? Could be something different entirely. All right, as long as the grunts are taken out, I probably want to take out the elite too, there we go. All right. Ah, we'll take out the gold elite, just because he wants it so bad. Gamma, gamma. There it is. All right. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this this is the fucking hard part right here. This is probably the hardest part of the level in the game. At least to do legendary no deaths. If I'm not mistaken, this could be it. Where they just freaking throw a million rocket launcher flood at you. Yeah, it is. What are they shooting at? Oh, oh, sentinels. Yep, rocket launcher flood all over. Jesus Christ, man. Because, God, because it's close corridors. If, if they see you in their line of sights and they're, and they're not, like, being retarded, they'll get you. And then, boom, it's done. It's over. You gotta restart the level. I'm gonna try and get them out so I can nade them. Alright, that one has a shotgun. Ooh. Oh, oh, I can't see. It's also hard to see if they have a rocket launcher or not. Alright, these guys don't. But, like I said, I mean, they, the Flood don't give a fuck. They'll, they'll shoot a rocket at you, like, point blank. They, they really don't care. Unless they, the programming dictates that they do a melee attack, they'll just shoot you point blank. And end your career. I'm still wary, man. I'm, I'm not taking any chances. I think, okay, just a plasma pistol. Alright, making sure he's dead. Okay. Alright, but we gotta take out these infection forms. Yep. Rocket launcher flood. More rocket launchers. My god. I tried this part where I was going through on Legendary about a month ago. And I was doing this part, man, and I must have died 15 times in this room. I'm not even joking. So to do it once, 
I mean, we'll see. We'll see, won't we? We'll see how the Yak Man does it. Now, I think I'm going to move the weapons over here because I, I got kind of a plan in my mind. All right, got to make sure all those infection forms are taken care of. No grenades I can pick up. All right. We're just going to have to do it, but I'm so scared. Oh. All right, boys. I'm scared. I'm scared even though I'm not playing right now. I just got to fucking load the walls with nades. Please don't get me. Please don't get me. Oh boy, that guy right there had a rocket. Jesus Christ. Oh, that guy, I think, too. Does that guy... Oh my God. Get off of me. I can't believe I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Come on. Oh, that guy had a rocket, too. Uh. Oh. By the gods, man. At least four rocket launcher flood. At least four. I'm still being careful. Because sometimes they just stand around, but... Whew, I'm just so relieved now. Alright. This part's pretty interesting, too. You know, you got this banshee, and what I do is I basically just toss bombs down there. Because, wouldn't you know, there's more rocket launcher flood. Yeah, and I think there's there's actually four of them uh, once you go go down far enough. But it's good to just toss bombs like that. I think I'll just come around and wait it out, and then we'll press forward. Oh yeah, it's it's way lighter in the anniversary graphics, which you know again kind of doesn't it doesn't match with the tone of what the level's about. All right, now we got to take out those bastard rocket launcher flood. Now, for this part, it actually does help to uh, to have the anniversary graphics on. Woohoo! Oh, baby! Get the fuck out of town! Oh man, that was close. Oh, rocket launcher flood! Why, Bungie? Why? Swear to God, man. All right, now we're back to the classic graphics. Maybe there's one more. I think I took them all out. Yeah, man, there's at least like five of them down here. Ugh. It's not that they're they're so frustrating when you're playing normally. It's just like on a no death run, just the fact that you know you could just die in an instant because <laughs> they have those weapons. It oof. Add some stress to the matter. All right, but we're, uh, I think, about halfway through, if not a little bit more so, uh, with the level. So we're coming up to the inner cavern. And this part, we won't have any vehicles. So it'll be pretty, pretty challenging. Because, well, there is a way to get a Banshee through here, but I think it takes a lot of time and patience. Uh, and, well, I don't have that right now. But we'll just fire on these guys. Clear it out before we walk in. And I think for some reason, the Flood think the door is open, so they just keep, like, running into it. See, like that guy. <laughs> he thinks the door is open, that's why he's running into it, because he knows there's an enemy. But the door ain't open, kid. Alright, sounds clear. Yeah, see, same with those guys. I think that's pretty funny. That must be uh, something to do with their scripting. But I do not have a whole lot of ammo right now, so I'm just kind of scoping it out, looking around. And you got, of course, you got to go across this bridge right here. And uh, wouldn't you know, at the very far end, rocket launcher flood. Huh? How about that? Yeah. So you got to, like I said, I'm I'm in kind of a bad spot because personally I don't have a lot of ammo. Boom! I'll just take out those guys. I'll take out what I can with the rocket launcher. Of course, you know, gotta save it for the rocket launcher flood. But yeah, I'll just take them out from range while I can. Don't think any of these guys running up have a rocket. Nope, they don't. So we're good for the most part. And I was, I was whacking him to, like, save ammo. 
But uh, yeah, you know, if you stay stocked up, if you use your ammo uh, judiciously, you'll be fine. No, that guy doesn't have a rocket launcher, so I don't need to waste a rocket on him. Ooh, another nade. That's good. Let's see if I can nade some of these guys out. Now, if I had a pistol, ooh wee, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah, I think I triggered the the spawn there. Oh, yeah, yeah, rocket launcher flood all over the place. All over the place. Just stay back. Just stay back, man. It's hard to tell because, like, you gotta kind of squint your eyes, even with my glasses on, to see if they got that, that rocket launcher in the left arm. I think he does. Either a rocket launcher or a shotgun. Come on. All right, so we're through that part. And now we're getting, uh, I think we're coming out of the other side. Yeah, yeah, so we're coming up on one of the big open areas where some of the just best fucking fights take place. Yeah, you, you look at the difference, man. Look at the difference. It's supposed to be dark, foreboding, shadowy, mysterious. Why is it all bright and shit? It, it looks so much better, and the music works so good. This is one of the best parts of the game right here. That's our target up there. So this is the final stretch. Got a banshee and a huge fucking fight taking place over there. Now, I think if you start to fire, um, the flood will come try to get you instead of the other guys. Get out of here, Banshee. Sometimes the Banshees will try and ram you. That guy, that guy was dangerously close. All right, still don't have a pistol, but man, it's just a bloodbath over there. Is that an invisible elite? Oh yeah, see the flood are coming now. They're coming my way. I'm trying to see if they'll go the other way. But I want to watch the fight, man. I want to watch the fight break out. Oh, come on, Axe Man. What was that? That was a bad nade, too. Oh, no, it's just a flood. No invisible elite. Yeah, and it's like the fight's still raging over there. Looking for ammo. I mean, they must have put a lot of flood and just had them kind of keep coming in and keep swarming them. And I, th I think the flood won. Yeah, they must have because they're all coming towards me. Damn! Damn, the flood kicked their ass. I think this fight is kind of like, uh, it can go either way. Either the Covenant or the flood can win. Boom! All right, dangerously close to running out of ammo with the shotgun. Taking these guys out. Great encounter. Man, and, and the way all the blood and the bodies are there, and it's like you're the last one standing. These guys are just wiping each other out, man. But, but you're still alive. And just look at the carnage. Look at, God, so many bodies, blood, explosions, turrets flipped over, energy shields. You know, it's like they're setting up defenses. It's, God, it's such a great mission. It's like they were getting assaulted and they set up all this stuff. They, you know, hit their cargo. They had a couple ghosts. Could have used them against the Flood Boys, but hey. Oh, look at that. Another rocket launcher. Who would have guessed? Uh, it'll be a good replacement until I get something else. Don't need two plasma weapons. Because it's kind of redundant. Alright. So we got... Man, at this part too, there's so many rocket launcher flood. I, I just remembered that. Now, yeah, I'm gonna kind of hang back. I'm just gonna hang back and let them kill each other. Maybe I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll just shoot a bit, because why not? Yeah, there's some normal flood attacking, again, the Covenant forces. The down pelican's still there, which is interesting. Um, but I think when you move forward, there's rocket launcher flood. So hopefully, I think there's a pistol. 
uh, over by the down pelican. So, so we get that, and we move through, and we'll be good. Die! Yeah, and I'm just staying away from the rocket from the flood because I don't know if they got rockets or not. Okay, let's grab these nades here. Grab this ghost here. Yeah, they certainly put out a lot of good weapons for you. Let me tell you. Uh, don't think the sniper is good here because it doesn't affect the flood much. So, yep, just like that, got a pistol. And that's how we'll take these guys out. I'm telling you, there's fucking, there's four or five of them over there. Just, just for you. Get away, get away, don't even try it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm being so careful that I'm not even letting them shoot at me. Because I don't want, I don't even want to have to dodge that. Oh yeah, that guy just blew himself up. <laughs> Oh man, I almost just shot him with a rocket. That would have been bad news. Okay, there's gotta be one left. Got it, yep. Come on, son of a bitch. Man, my aim was pretty bad there. Okay, I think he's done for. But, let's just double check around to make sure. All right, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get the sniper and the pistol because this next battle, it's the biggest one and it's a ranged battle. So get your buttholes ready. Also, if you ever run out of ammo or, you know, want to swap something out, you can always grab the ghost and then go back to the down pelican. But this part right here, this part is a grind too because you got heavily fortified covenant forces on the other side there and you got flood moving in but the flood man they don't even last a chance and then at a certain point oh whoa <laughs> and then at a certain point um uh invisible elites come in too so they throw the book at you on this one you got wraiths you got turrets you got a bunch of elites grunts jackals flood Luckily, no banshees. Thank God no banshees or ghosts. They easily could have added a banshee and a ghost. And then it would have been even longer. But yeah, I'm gonna just take my time and try to fire from range. Because the flood just get wiped out here. They, they just get destroyed. I don't even think they kill anything. Yeah, so I mean, I'm just trying to shoot them from range. And then, you know, get as many kills as I can with the sniper rifle. Hopefully survive the... Uh, invisible elites and then probably go back to get the rocket launcher so I can take out the wraiths now I'm just kind of baiting them out seeing when the when the ghosts or when the invisible elites are coming firing from range just just like a little bitch but hey legendary no deaths I ain't I ain't dying here oh oh there we go there we go invisible elite He's charging in. I don't know how many of them... Oh, there's another. Maybe there's three? I heard another one. Show yourself! Show yourself! Yeah, there's three. Come on. God damn it. There we go. As soon as you reveal them, then you're good. Now I just want to double check. I think I'm going to park up here and see what I can do sniper-wise. 16 shots, so... Make them count. Oh. Do as best as we can to thin out the forces, but again, more hunters and I think some more troops will spawn in once uh, once you get close enough. Yeah, we'll, we'll just take out as many as we can. Oh yeah, there's the hunters and more, more troops coming. So at least we, we killed enough, so this will be the final the final wave of troops. Alright, that gold elite. That bastard gold elite. Oh, damn it. You gotta you gotta have at least three shots. And one of them has to be a headshot to kill a gold elite. Yeah, I'll try to conserve sniper ammo. There we go. Okay, and then when the music picks up, something happens. So I I think Hokey Bird told me that's when more invisible elites come in. 
So fuck you, I'm gonna search for you guys. You ain't sneaking up on me. Come on. Alright, I guess I'm pretty safe. Yeah, just kinda waiting it out. Whoa. Mm -hmm. All right, so we used all our sniper ammo. I don't think there's any more here, so we're gonna get rockets and head on back. Nice, we got that wraith there. All right, as soon as we take out the other one, should be piece of cake. Oh, man, I'm just, I just keep checking because I don't want those invisible elites coming up on me. Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. All right, not a whole lot of rocket ammo left, so... Uh, don't try it, it's pretty risky. I'd say get the ghost. Get the ghost act, man. Ah, uh, you won't get the ghost, will you? You'll just throw a random nade. Oh, that was dangerously close. All right. Man, yeah, God, there's still so many guys over there. What's an act guy to do? Just take him out from range. As soon as you dive in there, man. F oh, fuck. Four, five elites? Four elites and a hunter? Five elites? Jesus, man. Well, you gotta make a move sometime. Boom. Oh. Did that even do anything? Oh, yes, it did. Not enough, though. Not enough. Alright, I'm gonna grab the ghost. Oh, guess I'm not. Gonna grab more rockets. Alright, we'll see how this works, firing from range in a ghost. Oh, more invisible elites, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, Bungie. I thought we were through this. Come on! Bastards. There we go. Now, I, I could probably just run for the Banshees and get those, but, man, I want to be extra careful because I'm already at this part. And once you pass this part, you're basically done. And then all you got to fight is Sentinels. Hooey! All right, we're, we're going to see if we can circle around. Uh, just kind of survey the landscape. All right, doesn't look like, yeah, I'm triggering any... Elites to fire. Invisible elites. Yeah, you notice they kind of just stick to their borders there. Unless you damage the gold elites enough, then they'll then they'll chase after you. But yeah. Take too much damage in the ghost and you're done for. That's why I'm getting out. Gonna do the rocket approach. Just a couple good shots. That wasn't a good shot. Fuck. So many elites! Hey, oh! Come on, come on, die! Die! There we go. One gold elite down. See if I can get this one with a nade. Oh! Ah, he jumped right at the last minute. Man, a rocket that close doesn't even take his shields out. Oh man, he's so durable. Come on, there we go. Alright, one rocket left. And I think a bunch of pistol ammo. Oh, there we go. Alright, so after that elite, just the hunters and, and we're good. And then we are home free. As I said before, the hunters are never a gimme. Because as soon as you think they're a gimme, they'll fuck you up. Alright, we'll get a couple more rockets. Because Bungie was kind enough to place 8 million rocket launcher flood on this level. Oh. Oh, he's got a needler. And he's not afraid to use it. I got a pistol and I'm not afraid to use that. Alright, we'll see if we can get... What are they doing? <laughs> what are those hunters doing? Alright, gonna dodge that as best as I can. Oh! Easy, cowboy. Easy. Bad approach. Don't get too cocky now. Boom! There we go! Level basically complete. 
Now we just got the final stretch, a fight with some sentinels, and we are all good to go. Thank God I didn't die to the rocket launcher flood. All right, just taking these guys out from range. I feel like I say that a lot because it's really the safest strategy. Nothing wrong with it. You don't have to go balls to the walls and everything you do. Just like June, the sniper. Take it out from range where it's safe, bro. Eh, I'll get these nades because why not. Notice all the blood was gone down there, or at least I couldn't see it. Yeah, let's just take one last look. Yeah, look at the difference, man. Look at how different that is. There's a bunch of ammo and stuff up here. Not like you really needed it at this part, though. <laughs> kind of interesting. Oh, what do you know? More rockets. I guess I'll take the rockets. Yeah, I mean, not that it matters. I think in this next room it's just sentinels, but... Yeah, always prepare. Alright, boys and gals. We are so close. Is it Sentinels or is it Flood? I'm pretty sure it's Sentinels. Damn right. And... Baboosh! And... Oh! Baboosh! Yeah. Human weapons are not good at all against the Sentinels. But... <laughs> and, and even rockets do surprisingly not a whole lot of damage against them. Which is shocking, really, because it's a freaking rocket. I think that's all of them. Oh, yeah, just making sure. Did I really beat the level? I did! Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for Keys and the Ma. We got two levels left. Peace! Let's find a ride and get to the captain. No, that'll take too long. You have a better idea? There's a teleportation grid that runs throughout Halo. That's how the monitor moves about so quickly. I learned how to tap into the grid when I was in the control center. Unfortunately, each jump requires a rather consequential expenditure of energy. Something tells me I'm not gonna like this. But I'm pretty sure I can pull it from your suit without permanently damaging your shields. Needless to say, I think we should only try this